Hello and welcome to another video. In this one, we're going to be talking about default values for parameters in Python, uh, specifically that they're global and why this causes problems with mutable defaults. Uh, so let's jump into it and I'll show you what I mean by that. Okay, so to get started, we're just going to make a small little Python file. Uh, oh, or I'm also going to make all this stuff work with typing by the end as well. So there's a, there's a few little caveats that you have to worry about when typing these as well. Uh, but anyway, let's start with a Python file where we have some sort of function which has a default. And in this case, you know, it's, it's an int, so it's easy. And let's just say this returns none, and we're going to print x. So an interesting thing about the way this function default works is this function default is actually stored on the function itself. And so it's, you know, it's, it's initialized when your module gets imported to Python 3-i-mt. Uh, I is for interactive, M is run this module named T, which is this t.py file here. Uh, you'll see that we have this F here. If we call it, we get you know, one if we don't pass anything, two if we get something else. And those default values are actually stored in this double under defaults uh, tuple here. And an interesting thing about this, I think you can actually reassign it. Let's see if we change it to 9001, for instance. Uh, yeah, see, you can actually modify the defaults of a function. Now, I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend doing this. I'm mostly doing this to show you this is something that you could do. Um, but basically, these defaults are all stored on the function itself. And this you know, works fine for integers and for strings and other immutable values. But if you were to assign some sort of mutable value here, such as a list, let's say this is a list of ints, and we'll do from future imports annotations, uh, and let's actually, well, we can start with that. So if we do this now and we run F, you'll see that it prints our list here. That's cool. If we pass in, you know, a list, that works fine and dandy. Uh, but sometimes you can end up in a situation where you need to modify that list before you print the value. Let's say we appended a two to the list for whatever reason. Um, and if we pass in, you know, our own custom list, this works fine. But because these defaults are global and there's only one instance of this list here, if we were to call this with no parameters, it's going to continually append a value to that global list. Because if we look at defaults here, you'll see we have this list here. And this list here keeps getting this append operation here. So the best practice is to avoid having mutable defaults, things that can be modified as part of your parameter defaults. Uh, and the way to work around this is to make these instead optional, so or none, and default this to none. And then in the case when it is none, if x is none, then you assign it to your default. So a little bit more verbose and, and not as not as nice to uh, read and write, unfortunately. But it's, it's just the way that Python works. Uh, so now if we call this, you can see that even though we're modifying the x parameter. Uh, we're not modifying any sort of global here because the global, the global in this case is none. We look at f at f dot defaults again. And I did mention that I wanted to talk about typing specifically here. So you will have to make your parameter nullable with this or a none here. If we were to stick a reveal type in here for x and make a virtual virtual and install mypy and run mypy on this file, you'll see that it believes that it is uh, list int or none, so we, we still have the nullability there. Uh, but the neat thing is, as long as you write this if statement similar to this, uh, mypy is smart enough to know that after this if statement here, x will always be non-nullable. So if we do this now, you'll see that it no longer thinks that it's a union with none, but it is always a list of integers. And so this is this is what's called a type narrowing in MyPy and allows you to write this code with uh, a, a nullable default, but still handle the correct type for the rest of the function. Uh, but anyway, that's um, <laughs> that's a quick little description about how default values in function arguments are globals and why you should avoid mutable values in there and as well as a pattern to show you how to do that. Uh, but hopefully this was useful. If there are additional things you would like me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.